Hi guys, I'm back again today with more with polymer clay charms. I have been making them. I started making them yesterday or the, and the day before. So I have these on my phone. I put it like on the charm. And then I have a few others that were baked. And then I have some other ones that are waiting to be baked. So, yeah. I hope you like this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. And yeah, I think I might be selling these now. I don't know yet, but we would like to order them from like YouTube. So I probably would sell them, but yeah. So the charms on the keychain, I like just took an extra cell phone charm I had. I don't have any more though, because it broke off um, a keychain that I bought, so I just used it. I put two. Um, Anyways, I have a purple rose with a green um, leaf, and there's like detail on the leaf, and as you can tell, that one's really cute, and then like, I glazed it. I, didn't have, I don't have the glaze, but I used clear nail polish, because on YouTube, it's like some videos said that it was okay to use that and it worked really good. It's so shiny and stuff. And then I have the green dinosaur with a pink heart on the back. So cute. And yeah. And then I have a gumball machine. That's really cool. And it's transparent, like for the gumball machine, and then a bunch of little tiny gumballs and I use like a sparkly blue for it and then this one's like well like all of them are my favorite so this is a fish in a bowl with two bubbles and I use transparent for like the top rim and the bubbles and that seems really cute I really like this one and then I made a red bow and it's really cute. I really like it. And yeah, that is my keychain for my phone. And all of these are based on Fillcraftastic tutorials. Because I really like her channel. I watch practically all of her videos. So yeah, I really like them. And then my other charms that were based already. This is my first clay charm. This one right here. This one is also based on hers, and it's really big compared to like these. Like, if you look at like the gumball machine, how big this is compared to it. Like, it's really big, so I don't know if I'll put it on a charm because like most charms are not supposed to be like that big. So, this is a swirl cupcake. I know. I don't know if it's it almost looks like uh, ice cream, except for without the cone, but yeah. And then I have, this is my first rose, and then the purple one is the second one. This one's really pretty, and it has like, it's dark red, dark leaves. And it's smaller than this rose, but it's still really cute. I really like this one. I'll probably put it like, on some other like keys or something I use. And then this one, I didn't make this one, my friend made it. And, yeah. It was out of my scrap clay and it actually turned into a pretty color. So. And I glazed it for her and baked it, so. Um, I'll give it to her when she, next time she comes over. And then, my other charms that are waiting to be baked. You can't really, like, touch them very hard or else they'll, like, mess up. But this one. Is an owl. It's like a light purple owl, and the eyes and the stomach is textured, and then the back with a little tail. I'll probably show it in the video, the next video after I bake it. I'll probably bake it today. And then this is another swirl cupcake. I, I just used the extra swirl that was on the bigger swirl, and I made it kind of smaller. And I put a cherry, and then the texture, little lines on it. And then I made this one. Two peas in a pod, I thought it was really cute. It was like so craptastic. I put two because like I wanted to call it two peas in a pod, so 
it's really, really tiny. But compared to the big cupcake, so tiny. It's so cute though. I probably will add it on to my charm on my phone. And same with the owl. I'll probably make it longer if I need to. But, or I can add it to the end where there's extra. And yeah, and then right here, this, this is just scrap clay. Because that's what you use underneath the cupcake. So it's good to keep the scrap clay. So yeah, I hope you um, enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. And please stay tuned for more videos. I might make another one today, but I don't know yet. It depends if I'm making a lot more. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.